Today's video is a step-by-step -step guide for a project to display the arbitrage opportunities for Solana. Now, this project is a dashboard that presents arbitrage opportunities for wrapped Solana USDC pair in a tabular form with tables consisting of exchange rate, timestamp, dex name, and dex address. Now, let's get started and try to understand the query that we are going to use in our project. So, firstly, make sure that you have selected the EAP option. And now, let's jump into the query part. So you can see I have selected the subscription option because I want to get the live data with the minimum possible latency. Then for the Solana option, I have selected the DEX trades and this is my filter, which is that the trade by currency has to be the wrapped Solana and the sell currency has to be USDC. These are the mint addresses of wrapped Solana and USDC respectively. And I have selected very few options available out of the total options which are the program address for DEX, the protocol family and the protocol name of the DEX and also I have selected the buy price in USD and the buyer's address and block type. This is so because I am not looking to build a profitable bot over here but if you wish to expand on this project and build further on it then I would definitely suggest you to add more fields to your query and you can see a lot of options are available in the pit query graphql ide now i'll show you by running the query you can see i'm getting this live feed data which is updated within milliseconds and what you can do is you can select the node.js axios option and copy paste the code for calling the api now let's get started with coding on your local PC. So for this project we are going to use the Next.js framework which is a popular choice of framework for front-end development. Now to get a file structure like this what you need to do is you need to enter the following command which is npx create next app and name of your project which is arbitrage dashboard in our case and you need to select the pre-selected options and not do any changes in that. I'll exit this command for now and clear my terminal. Next, let's understand the code that would post our request to the BitQuery API and retrieve the latest DEX traits and the arbitrage opportunities that we are going to display in our project. So the code is quite different from what you would get after just copy pasting the code because what I have done is that I have put this code which is the code that you would usually get inside a function and I am exporting this get data function. So this is our page.js file and this is the page where we have to write all our code which we are going to see on our browser so firstly make sure that you have typed use client on the top of the page to use features of react like use state and use effect so import react use state and use effect from react then we have also imported the get data function from the data file this const home or the function home is the component where all our code would be written so you can see I have set a state over here with these two constants. The first one being for the DEX trades to get the arbitrage opportunities and the second one is a variable that I'm going to use for pagination. And the items per page is the number of opportunities or you can say the number of trades that I'm going to show per page. So you can see I'm using a use effect hook over here and I'm going to fetch the trades and the trade data that I have fetched I will set that to the trades variable that I have declared earlier. Now there are two more handler functions which are handle next page and handle previous page. So what it does is it's just for the pagination like if I selected let's say the next page option then it will increment the current page by one and the previous handle previous page option 
will decrement the current page count by one you can also see there is a handle execute function over here currently it does nothing but you can write your code over here for a trade implementation now this is the component that is responsible for rendering the dashboard on our browser i have used the tailwind css and make sure that you have run the npm install app beforehand before running the next command which is npm run dev i click the link and with that you can see that our project is live and running we can see various buttons over here the next button and the previous buttons which were the buttons for paginations as i told earlier we can see there are a lot of fields display over here which are timestamp the dex name the price the dex address you can see slight differences over here and there is this execute button the logic for which is yet to be written but you are free to write it on your own now if you had any difficulty with following the video tutorial then i'm sharing the documentation that has each and every step of writing the code to this project and other than that i'm sharing the important links like the link to the query and the code base in the description of video if you still have any doubts regarding the project you are free to share them on the telegram channel the link of which is also provided in the description like and subscribe and do join our telegram channel